can't do this today. We don't have time. Five minutes. Less. Your insight was invaluable. The senator said so himself. But this is can't... about the guy who gave me the... Stop with the guy. We leaked what we could. It's not enough anymore. Janet, come on. Give me two minutes with him. Deep background is not going to cut it. I'm aware. That's why I'm here. My sources agreed to go on the record. You said that was never going to happen. Well, you made it clear it has to. Over a month ago, yeah. The committee's moved on, Miss Matheson. I'm not going to reopen this line of inquiry unless you're absolutely sure this implicates David Wellington. I'm sure. If you can guarantee closed session testimony and identity protection, He'll talk. Senator, I'm sorry. We're completely in the dark here. We don't know one damn thing about this Do person. you know what happens to him if his identity is leaked? Or me? This administration jails federal employees. So he's a federal employee? You have to give us something. You told us on three separate occasions you were going to produce hard evidence. You never delivered. He's a colleague, okay? FBI. We worked counterterrorism together in Afghanistan. Now he's on the team interrogating the suspects detained in the second wave of arrests. I know for a fact that he has personally interviewed 43 of them and is working his way through the dossiers of all 200. So far, there's nothing, nothing that connects a single one of them to the assassination attempt. Okay, closed session testimony, identity protection. We can do that. There's, uh, there's one more thing. He's asking for a face-to-face. -face. You, me, and him, six o'clock tonight. Where? The Hay Adams. Text your room number on this phone as soon as I have one. Is the spy show really necessary? I'm bringing you a federal agent to testify about some of the most expansive civil rights abuses in the history of our nation. Is it really that hard to use a burner? You're all we've got on Wellington. This source of yours turns out to be some putz overheard a rumor at the urinal. He's not. 